Rambling Man here. I had a four day weekend for Veterans Day. I, I didn't do one video. I, you know, having, I mean, myself being a veteran, it was great just to take a weekend to myself and do absolutely nothing. I went out of town with my wife because yesterday was our four year anniversary, so that was awesome. Now, I'm going to tell you, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you go on and uh, comment, like, and share. Make sure you share the videos. If you like the video, please share it. Just share it. Just send it to somebody that's not on my friends list on Facebook or with someone else on another platform. It's fine. Send it out there. And you know, subscribing is actually free. All you do is hit subscribe on YouTube, and you'll get my videos. And I hope you like them. I hope you enjoy them. I want to talk to you real quick, just real quick. I don't want to make this a long thing. It's all over the news. Uh, the whole Kyle Rittenhouse case, um, in my opinion, is self-defense. If you want to watch it, go ahead, get on there, watch the videos in real life. I mean, he shoots one guy that's chasing him down to cause him harm, and uh, throws a bag at him at the time. No one knew what it was. I mean, he was hit with a brick. He was hit with something else. I, I can't believe, I remember what else it was. And then he fires on this guy Rosenbaum which was off his meds for seven to ten days he's a, a known sex offender just spent time in prison just just a well a really nice guy and um, he had set fires there in Kenosha according to witnesses that had been watching and was threatening Kyle and then chasing him and Kyle turned fired shot and killed him then he gets run down by this other guy well and he's running after him and he swings and hits him with a skateboard his name's huber and he fires off another round hits him in the chest and kills him almost immediately now this time he had already fallen down and he's pretty much at their mercy another guy runs up now this is a guy i can't say his last name so i'm not even gonna try uh starts with a g i believe but he he comes up and he's wearing a medic bag and stuff but he also has his glock on him and he has his hands raised. Yeah, you see his hands raised some, but he even admits that he pointed the gun at Kyle Rittenhouse as he's approaching him to take Kyle's gun. Kyle doesn't know what he's coming after. He just is coming after him. Kyle fires and hits him in the bicep and it's a gruesome injury and messed his arm up. He'll have permanent damage. But at the same time, it's one of those things like he was, he, he got completely just, uh, bombarded by these guys in total self-defense now like i said this is my opinion you watch it and check it out and see what you think but i'm telling you right now it should be a cut and dried case only because it was jacob blake's uh protest going on in kenosha people running around saying oh this was a shooting this shooting was racist there was no racist every person shot was white had nothing to do with race just because he's out there and and the prosecution has nothing in this case they, they've tried to lower the charges, all kinds of stuff. I mean, in my opinion, it should be dismiss, dismissed without prejudice, meaning it can't be retried. But we'll see what happens. Now, on top of that, you know, Biden is going through, signing this infrastructure bill, which is trillions of dollars. It's $1.2 trillion, but he'd already put $1.9 trillion during the pandemic stuff. So you're looking at like $3 trillion dollars. And they're talking about putting the other portions of this through, which would make it about $8 trillion in all. That's a lot of freaking money. We're talking about, oh, huge amounts of deficit. And it doesn't matter what they say. They can say it's free all day long. But when you look out there and you're paying 20% more for bacon, you're paying twice as much in gas as last year, 5.4% um, more in milk, Let's, let's be honest you're it, you're gonna pay for it one way or another and and Biden's begging OPEC right now to uh, to produce more gas more oil more gas right where we had just fine we were doing great until he's closed those pipelines down and then let the Russians have a pipeline approve that one you tell me how that's making uh, building us back better it's not I mean, we're so caught up on emissions and things that's not going to really affect us for 10 years. When I say affect us, meaning there's not going to be enough people that have electric cars for us to make any kind of... We're going to need these fossil fuels in order for us to get around. And even with the electric cars and things, we're having to go through and charge those stations 
with diesel. I, I, I don't understand it. it. It's ridiculous. So those are just some of my thoughts on this. And I, I wanted to just kind of share them with you and see what your thoughts are. You know, Kamala and Biden have really screwed the pooch on this one. They're kind of separating themselves from one another because of the fact that I don't think either one of them like one another now. Um, or if they ever did. But now, since they're, both of their ratings are dropping, no, they, neither one want to be associated with the other. So they'll, they'll, they'll deny that. But let me know your thoughts. So make sure you comment. Make sure you share. Make sure you like this. I really appreciate y'all taking the time to listen to me. And hey, y'all have a great night. Randall Man out.